message. We start tonight with a frustrated Bishop couple who called our troubleshooters. Well, they've been waiting for a long time to get this thing taken care of. They claim they were told that they had a criminal case against a contractor. Today, a couple of years later, they say they've been told they don't have a case unless they can provide more evidence. Sure. I'm a hard worker for my money. They know fair that somebody come to take my money easy. He say bye. Johnny Tejeda is getting more and more frustrated. So he showed up at the Nueces County Sheriff's Office this morning wanting answers because he's already told them his story about hiring Leo Rios and two hours construction in December 2017 to build a house for him and his family. Total cost $50,000 that the Hedas put 20,000 down. But the Heda claims Rio stopped working in January 2018 because he wanted more money and the Heda wasn't going to pay it until more work was done. The Heda says this is a picture of Leo Rios who we contacted by phone and asked about the Tejeda job. Why has it taken so long to get the job done? Well, because he didn't compare with the contract like I told him. Rios claimed he needed the money to pay his crew. On February 15th, the Heda had an attorney send Rios this demand letter, certified mail, giving him 10 days to respond, but he never did. That the Hedas want their $20,000 back because they still have to have their home built. It's not fair what he did with me. I, I need my money back. I, I need my... I need... Well, Mr. Tejeda says he's been told he doesn't have a case until he can come up with more proof of his claim, like we said earlier. But late this afternoon, Captain Monica Rios with the Sheriff's Office let us know that the Tejeda's case was presented to the grand jury in September, and they no-built it. In other words, there wasn't enough evidence to send it to trial. We also tried contacting Leo Rios by phone multiple times today, but we couldn't leave a message. As always, whenever you need help from the troubleshooters, all you do is send us an email at troubleshooters at kztv10.com.